Early tonight, a long overdue recognition honoring the pioneers of equal education in Rock Hill will happen this Friday. Alumni of Emmett Scott High School will be honored during a game between two high school football rivals. Billy Jean Shaw explains the trailblazing legacy of the Emmett Scott Rattlers. In 1920, during a time when black people were denied education and schools were segregated, the Emmett Scott School was built in York County. Carrying the namesake of Booker T. Washington's assistant, Emmett Scott was the first public school for blacks in Rock Hill. It was the center of the black church. The Black school was the center of activity in the black community. Samuel R. Foster was the principal at Emmett Scott School for three years up until its closing in 1970. The school was torn down and parts of it were converted into a recreation center dedicated to Emmett Scott years later. Since its closing 50 years ago, there have been very few successful attempts to keep the legacy of the school alive. There are so many people in the community now who really don't know what Emmett Scott was or what it meant to the uh, black community. But that will all change in just a few days. This Friday, during the rivalry football game between Northwestern and South Point High, for the first time ever, the alumni of Emmett Scott School will be honored by both the district and the city. The idea stemmed from the principals of both high schools who felt indebted to the sacrifices black educators and students took just to earn a decent education. We felt it just necessary and, and, and just vital to um, bring about awareness that this was a significant contributor to the development of Rock Hill. It's also a time to recognize how the school opened the doors for black educators in Rock Hill. Mr. Foster went on to become one of the first black administrators in the district and one of five, including Hezekiah Massey III at Northwestern and Dr. Marty Connor at South Point. The way in which he paid for us to have this opportunity is just, you know, uh, tremendous for us to be here to not only celebrate Emmett Scott, but also paying it forward. Kickoff for Friday's game is at 7.30. Billie Jean Shaw, WCNC Charlotte.